Hey guys, want to throw a quick little video here on uh, just a quick little tip for technicians, especially uh, some of the new guys coming out of school or getting into the field. Um, I'm working on a straight AC unit here with an air handler um, with a 10 kW heater. The business owner, or the, let me rephrase that, the building owner sent me out here to take a look. They've been having issues with their breaker, which is right over here where it says heat, it's a number 60 amp breaker, um, keeps tripping after a while of the heater running. Now, the first thing I did when I pop open the door, take a look at all your, all your wires. And you can see it's kind of a mess in there, but nothing far, nothing frayed, nothing obvious. Um, so I turned the thermostat on heat. It's been running now for about, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. Um, and I'm getting full cool amp draw. 39 amps on 208 volts, so I'm good to go with that. The problem is, and this is where uh, the reason I want to throw a quick little video here is typically on a 10 kW heater, you should be running with well, for 40 amps, you should, you should be running at a 50 or a 60 amp breaker, which we have a 60, we're good to go. Most technicians will walk away from this job and say, Hey, we got a 60 amp breaker. I got a 10 kW heater, I'm pulling 40 amps, 39 amps, we're good to go. The problem, however, is you gotta pay close attention to your wire size. You may have the breaker correct, but if the wire size is undersized, you are gonna have issues with that with this breaker randomly tripping. Eventually, it's gonna just overheat and cook your wires. Um, it hasn't gotten to that point yet, but that's the issue. Let me show you what we got here. I don't know how well the camera's gonna be able to set it up here but you can see right there we're on number 10 gauge wire a number 10 is not big enough for a 10 kW heater I don't care where you live at or whatever you know part of the country you're at a 10 gauge wire is too small for a 10 kW heater uh, normally you want to obviously follow your NAC electrical uh, code Typically, the standard is for a 10 kW, you should run a number six. Um, so, their issue all along is undersized high voltage wiring. So, just keep an eye on that. If you you know you want to look at your breaker, obviously make sure your breaker size correctly according to the manufacturer specs. This unit requires maximum overcurrent protection for 60, so we're good to go with that. But you also have to follow your code book into making sure you have enough, uh, you know, a big enough wire for the KW that you're running. So uh, I'll leave it at that, guys. Just wanted to go ahead and shoot a quick little video on that for the new guys. Pay attention to breaker and wire size on um, pretty much anything, but obviously in this video we're shooting it on a on an air handler here. So um, that's all I got for right now, guys. See you on the next one.